Hold the microphone by the body tube and remove the base ring by turning it counterclockwise until unthreaded. Slide off the body tube while maintaining light pressure on the two metal side straps. Push up on the base of the microphone to release the side strap contacts. Remove the head assembly and the threaded base subassembly. Locate the four screws and nuts holding together the inner housing plastics. Use a flathead screwdriver to secure the nut, while using another flathead screwdriver to loosen and remove each screw. After all four screws and nuts have been removed, remove both halves of the housing shell. Lay the microphone flat on its surface and grip the tube socket with one hand and the tube with the other. Gently pull on the tube while rocking it back and forth to loosen it, if necessary. Be careful not to bend the pins. Locate the gaps in both the tube socket and the pins of the new tube. Angle the tube into the socket, lining up the gaps. While holding the socket, push in the new tube so that it is flush to the socket. Put on the two halves of the amplifier plastics, lining up the square cutout with the impedance board. Make sure the metal collar on the base connector sits flush with the inner glove of the bottom of each plastic housing half. Use a flathead screwdriver to secure each nut, while using another flathead screwdriver to tighten the screws. Locate the two female spring contacts in the head assembly and the two corresponding male blade contacts on the top of the amplifier. Line up the contacts and gently attach the head. Be very careful not to bend the spring contacts. Locate the screw in the microphone base and the notch in the threaded base assembly. Slide the threaded base assembly over the amplifier, lining up the notch and the screw. Push the contacts at the top of the side straps into the corresponding mounting holes. Hold them in place while sliding on the body tube. Make sure the body tube pin is lined up with the corresponding notch on the base assembly. Tightly fasten the base ring on the microphone. The narration was recorded using the exact microphone you saw in the video, a Telefunken ELA-M251E.